Have you ever wondered why you seem to suffer more than others? Picture a man burdened by his own suffering. Day in and day out, he would raise his voice to the heavens, pleading, Why me? Everyone else appears to be so happy. Why am I the only one in such suffering? His desperation grew so great that one day he declared in his prayer, God, I am ready to accept anyone else's suffering, but please take mine away. I cannot bear it anymore. This man, so burdened by his own pain, yearned for the relief of another's burden, any burden but his own. His prayers echoed in the silence, a desperate plea for mercy. But then, something astounding happened. One night, as the man slept, he had a dream. A dream that was both beautiful and revealing. A dream that would forever change his perspective on suffering. In his dream, God appeared in the sky and invited everyone to bring their sufferings to the temple. The world was filled with a sense of hope and anticipation. Picture this. Thousands of people, each carrying their burdens wrapped up in bags, big and small, heavy and light, trudging towards the holy sanctuary. An air of joy and relief was palpable, as if a long-awaited prayer had finally been answered. Among the crowd was our man, clutching his bag of suffering tightly, rushing along with the others, his heart pounding with a mix of anxiety and excitement. The temple, a symbol of divine intervention, stood majestically its doors open for all those seeking respite. Upon reaching the temple, a divine voice echoed, instructing everyone to place their bags of suffering along the temple walls. The bags, each a representation of personal anguish and torment, were lined up, creating a spectacle of shared human suffering. The sight was both humbling and overwhelming, a testament to the universal truth of life's trials and tribulations. Then came the moment of truth. God spoke again, his voice resonating with a profound authority. He declared, now you can choose, anybody can take any bag. The temple fell silent, the air thick with anticipation. The moment of liberation they had all been waiting for was finally here. They could exchange their sufferings, a chance to escape their familiar distress for an unknown one. Our man, who had been praying relentlessly for this moment, wasted no time. He sprang up and rushed towards his bag before anyone else could lay claim to it. But as he rushed towards his bag, he was in for a surprise. Everyone else was doing the same. Each person, upon seeing the sufferings of others, chose their own bag of suffering, finding comfort in the familiarity of their own pain. The man stood there, stunned and surprised as a profound realization dawned upon him. Why would everyone choose their own bag of suffering again? You might ask. Well, the answer lies in a profound realization that unfolded in the temple that day. As they looked around, people saw the bags of others, some as heavy as theirs, some even heavier. This sight was a stark revelation. Everyone around them was shouldering their own burdens, fighting their own battles. Suddenly, their own bags of suffering did not seem so singularly unbearable anymore. Moreover, there was another factor at play, familiarity. People knew their own sufferings inside out. They had lived with them, battled them, and even grown accustomed to them. These sufferings had become a part of their lives, an integral part of their existence. They knew how to bear them, how to cope with them, and how to navigate life with them. The thought of swapping their known sufferings for an unknown bag was daunting. Who knows what kind of trials and tribulations lay in those other bags? Why trade a known enemy for an unknown one? So one by one, everyone rushed to reclaim their own bags. A wave of relief washed over them as they picked up their familiar burdens. Their faces lit up with joy, their hearts filled with a newfound appreciation for their own sufferings. They left the temple not with lighter burdens, but with lighter hearts, their steps buoyed by the understanding they had gained. In the morning, the man prayed to God, thanking him for the dream and accepting his own suffering as it is. He understood now that his sufferings were not a punishment, but a part of his journey. He realized that everyone had their own path to walk, their own lessons to learn, and their own burdens to bear. And in that understanding, he found peace. He found the strength to continue his journey, not with resentment, but with acceptance and grace. After all, what is given to us is for us. It is our own unique path to walk, our own unique journey to embark on.